Hello and welcome to the brewery and today we're going to be having a look inside one of these. This is a Plato keg, you may have seen them in some of my previous videos and you may have seen when I tried to build one in effect or I built something very similar a while back. I will link those videos up here or possibly up there, I can never tell which side it's going to be on. I've had this one uh, this one came from the Kickstarter uh, and very recently it just stopped working. So I got in touch with the people at Plato and they got back to me and sent me a replacement which was really nice of them. Um, which is now in the kegerator and said I could open this up and try and fix it and show you what's inside. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to take the back of this, have a look inside, see how it works and see if we can spot what's gone wrong. Okay, so now we've got it unscrewed, it's time to have a look inside. Under these four yellow pads, three yellow pads, there are load cells. These are really similar to the ones that I used in my build, which you can see in a previous video. On top of each of these, there seems to be a little flexible foot, which I assume makes the weight distribute better. The yellow areas seem to control the electronics. Uh, apparently they are sealed against uh, water, which means that if you spill your beer on this device, you're not going to ruin it immediately. So let's have a look inside this one, which appears to have the power supply in it. It is attached by a number of different looking screws, about two different types, which was slightly annoying as I had to get a different screwdriver out to open it up. So in here there's a small circuit board and the power supply. What appeared to have happened was one of the wires has come off the power supply. So let's get all the soldering kit out and attempt to fix it. So my first attempt to fix it was in place, which as with often lots of soldering tasks takes more hands than I had. So instead I realised that you could actually detach the power supply components uh, just this little bit that I've detached up here and working on that alone made it much much easier. Probably should have started that way. After a few attempts I managed to get the wire soldered back on and test it and put it all back in place in the main circuit board. I then used a little bit of hot glue to hold the power connector in place and opened up the other side to see what was there. In here there appeared to be two small circuit boards. Here's the cover showing the seal to keep the water out. So I put both of the covers back on got ready to put the whole device back together again. Obviously using two different screwdrivers again. Screwed the base plate back to the top cover. are on so success. Well I hope that was interesting and informative and I've now got to decide whether I put this one back in the kegerator or leave that one in there and do something else with this one but once again thank you very much to the lovely people at uh, Plato who sent me the replacement and were more than happy with me having a look inside so I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you in another video.